Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creativedaily.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I'll give a few seconds here. Um, I actually have, um, well, first of all, thank you for joining me because I know this is not my regular day. My regular day is on Thursday. Hola gordita. Um, Thursday 7 p.m. but as you all know, um, tomorrow is Halloween. And Miss Abby is going to be a little pumpkin, and Oliver is uh, Captain America, and so we're all so excited to go trick-or-treating. So therefore, I decided to change my date again for Wednesday so I could be able to be with you rather than canceling the uh, Facebook Live. So anyway, I was working today on um, using this, um, this paint. I don't know if you've noticed, we have now a Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. And I was just curious to know how it worked, and so I wanted to make some projects with it. And um, also I decided I want to be using a little bit more of this design series paper, which is the Rapid in Plate, um, which is this one, I should say, oh. which is the one that has the gold accents. And so I still have lots of that paper, so I decided why not use that one? Plus, I wanted to use one of the paper, one of the, um, dies that I never used last year and so I had really wanted to use that one so this is this which is the uh in the woods frameless dies which is the one um I don't know if I had the stamp set here maybe I don't but anyway we're not going to be using the stamp set I probably won't but uh it's not longer a bundle but this is the one that has the the cute um Christmas tree and it has also some wood uh, with uh, stamp images and then there's some also uh, like dried trees images on that set so it's really cute and I never used it last year so I decided I want to use it this year um, so anyway I cannot find it right now it's not here so anyway so this is the one that I want to use um, with again that design series paper and I'll show you here which one it is so this is the one that I'm going to be use, using Hello, Linda. Yes, thank you for um uh, for watching it. You know, like I said, it's not my day. So anyway, so we're gonna be cutting those two, and we're gonna go from there. Okay. So also, I'm extra excited because um you know how I usually show all the classes that I'm gonna be having um online, and usually for the PDFs, I have to be mailing them. Well, I just got the word that I will be able to have now like a PDF store on my website, which I'm super excited. I've been waiting for that for the longest. And so I think it's completed. It's now, um, it's now just a matter of me having time and uploading all the classes and having them there. But so no more waiting for me to send you the PDFs. Now when you sign up for a class for the tutorial only, you'll be able to download the uh, PDF. So I'm super excited about that. I'll send more information um, on email once I have all the classes up and running, because this is like brand new. I just got the work today. So anyway, you saw how I got those two. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Linda. So anyway, so yeah, more information on that on, on a future email. So make sure you are on my mailing list, which is, um, I put the link in the description of my video so that you can join. Um, and then also, oh, before I move on, also don't forget today is the last day to sign up for my gather to gather, come together card class to go. And um, I've sent multiple emails about that too. So if you wanted to join today is the last day. So make sure you uh, click. Um, Trying to find everything here and not today. Uh, but anyway, try to... Um, you can get more information on the description of this video as well. Hello, Kay. Uh, hold on. Let me just show you. Um, yeah, today is not a good day here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me just show you real quick. So I don't know if you... So this is the card um, that you can sign off just until today. And then again, now the tutorial will be there. Uh, so as soon as I have that PDF store up and running, you'll be able to, to get the PDF there. But at least if you want the make and take kit, um, that one closes today. So let me just see. 
So originally I was thinking about doing a class with this. Um, hold on. A class with this um with this whole suite. So I have actually like six cards and then I decided that I probably won't have enough time to really do another class. I have two Christmas classes coming up and if you want I can give you a sneak peek of those. Um so let me just show you real quick so that and so honestly I don't think there's enough time for me to be doing like a third Christmas car. So Oh, third Christmas card class. So here is the next card class that is available. It's going to be using the Gleaming, what is this, Gleaming Christmas. So all of them are super cute. I love the design series paper that is on this, on this um, suite. And then my favorite one, I'm not going to lie, is the um, Let Us Know, which I'm super excited to know that the uh element um the key the management kit it's back on on uh available back on stock so you can order them so i'm super excited because for one i thought i was not going to be able to to have that this class because i have designed this one a long time ago and um and so i thought i was not, not able to offer it just because the embellishment kit was not there so anyway it's back so we're gonna have that class coming up so, um, again, if you want more information when it's released, make sure you are on my mailing list so that you can get all the links and all the information about the upcoming classes. So, anyways, this is the one we're going to be making today. And like I said, I don't think I have enough time, to be honest. So, let's just go first with the three, which, what did I do? You know, I'm sure I cut it. So, where did I leave those trees now? Whew. You can tell this is one of those days. I cannot find the trees now. What happened with the trees? Really? Really? Like what happened with them? They were here a minute ago. And now they're not. Hmm. 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 Okay. So. Well, let's cut more trees. Because I don't have time to be, you know, looking for the trees. I'm sure they will appear after the video. Have you had one of those days where you lose everything? Hmm. Yeah, this is one of those. So anyway, let's do that again. So we're gonna go ahead and like cut these. I'm gonna try to put them here. I don't wanna be, I'm always thinking like, how do I put it where I don't waste that much paper, you know? I mean, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, so. Anyway, I think, I think this way, probably. Okay. And who knows where are those trees? But I'm sure as soon as I'm done with this, I'll find them. It always happens. Always. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and take them. All right. Seriously, what did I do with them? Hmm. I'll be thinking about those trees the whole day. Believe me. So anyway, so what we're going to have here. So I'm going to show you first. Hello, Jamie. How we are going to do the trees. Because we're going to be doing three trees exactly the same way. Um. So first of all, you can see um, this is from the In the Woods framelit. And you can see there's some like die cutting here. I like... You can see that, right? And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to bring my bone folder. And carefully, I'm going to go ahead and kind of curl it. <sighs> Goodness gracious. And um, it's one by one. And um, I just love how this one is gonna add a little bit of texture. And again, you have to be kind of careful because you don't want to rip it. Um, but you can see, you can add some dimension. Glad you like the cards, Linda. So anyway, so now you can see here, and this one is like too much, but you can see, uh, Maybe there you go. 
All right, so you can see how it has a little bit of texture, and this one doesn't have too much, so you can go back and kind of curl it a little bit more. So you get the gist, right? So anyway, so now you have it right there. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to bring my glue dots. Yeah, so I think I used glue dots the last time. And um, I ran out of glue dots, I think. Oh, there's still a few. Let me just use those because I'm about to run out of glue dots here. So let's just use this one first. So I'm going to be putting it a few of them. And you kind of have to be a little bit strategic as to where to put them. So I'm going to put one there. One here. And then maybe one more here. Yeah, like I said, I'm about to run out of glue dots here. Hello, Lori. All right. And I probably add another one here. So let me bring a new set of glue dots here. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and line it up to these other three. And so. There you go. Now, the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and use the Snowfall Accent Puff Paint, which, like I said, I was so excited with this and it looks so gorgeous. Um, but there is a little bit of learning curve. One of them is that I've noticed that it does make a difference if you uh, shake it really well. So you want to make sure it's all shaked uh, really well. Um, and you'll see why. So anyway, once you have it, um open up and i don't know if you can see it but um i'm gonna just put a little bit of this and if it is not well shaked you're gonna actually see it more like um a clearer it's gonna look clearer rather than white so that's how you gonna know if you have enough if you have shaken enough um because it looks more like watery. So you want to make sure that you have like a really well shake pane. And then you can add a little bit on other areas. But I pretty much put it anywhere where I can curl it. Because I would imagine that those will be the areas where the snow will fall, right? And so then I'm just adding a little bit more somewhere else. Like this. There you go. I think... This one, let's just take that bubble out and then maybe a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so again, you can put as many as much as you want and maybe a little bit more on this area. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to bring our heat tool. I'm going to bring my heat tool here. And it's going to be loud. I'm going to just hold it. And so, whew, oh, did I hit it right there? There you go. Um, and so, let me just show you here. And so you can see here how it looks. I just love the texture it gives. One thing I've noticed, and of course I couldn't say much because of the noise, but um, 
when you are hitting hitting it, make sure you kind of see um how it starts to kind of get like a popcorn, you know. So um, a few of them that I made in the past, I've noticed that it was not all raised, but I think that is because I took away the heat sooner. But if you keep a little bit of the of the heat, then you can see how it kind of starts racing, like if it were like the popcorn, you know, you can see it here. So it looks pretty cool. And I just love how, how it looks. So anyway, so the last thing I'm going to be doing on these three is I decided because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using the, um, wrap it in plate. I decided I want to use the gold, the gold, um, pearls just so that it has something that goes with the paper and you're just going to be adding as many or as little as you want and like i said I, i'm just enjoying so much using it i've been doing several of those so today we're going to be using um maybe three of them so maybe another one here and again you can put as many or as little as you want I know usually I end up going with too many. Hmm. So, um, I feel like that's enough. Well, no, I think it's missing one here. Sometimes with pearls, I don't know when, <laughs> when I should just leave it alone. Um, so anyway, so here it is. So now for our card, I'm going to be using shaded spruce. And, um, I have already die cut um oval with the layering ovals uh from gold foil paper then i have here the largest of the oval side of the stitch shape framelits i have two pieces of the design series paper and this one is let me just get the let me just get the ruler here honestly what do i do with those trees it's three by five and four eight no, five eighths, because I'm gonna be cutting it a little bit. And then I have this other, this part of the design series paper. And this one is one and a half. And I wanna say this also like, yeah. So this one is, oh, actually this one is right there. So it's five and a half. I should have done it five and five eighths, but I guess I didn't do that. So anyway, so let's just go ahead. Um, And this one is Shady Spritz and it is eight and a half by five and a half, which I think that's like the, like 99% of my cars are this size, honestly. Hello, Lean. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue that one there. So let's just bring... And I'm going to line it up to the edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess. All right, that way I know it goes that. It goes um, all line up. And then I have this one right here okay so we're gonna go ahead and oh oh my goodness i went out time okay we're gonna go ahead and line it up again And then we're going to go ahead and cut a little bit of that excess here. All right. And so this one will be right here. Okay. So I want it to be right there. And then I want to put that tree like here. And I have uh, punched out one star. I know this, um, the punch 
it's already retired, but I'm sure that you have something that could make stars. So, um, you just use whichever, whatever, uh, punch you have for a star. Um, there might be, um, there is a new die set that does lots of stars, so I'm sure we can use one of those as well. I just decided to use that, that punch because it was just so easy. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. Now this one is going to be raised. So let me just bring the dimensionals. I'm going to go ahead and put it like so. And then I'm going to put also these with dimensionals. Mm, I'm glad you're liking it, Royce. So we're going to put it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Probably with a dimensional, you know, with a mini dimensional. Mm, actually, I need like two dimensionals there. It's too, it's not too, um, too high. So I'm going to need to add another dimensional. Let me just see, would that work? Yes, okay, so this one works better. There we go. And um, I'm thinking it will be nice to do a bow, okay? And I'm using the shitty spruce gold ribbon that we have um, out of the rapid rapid and plate suite, and you can see it here. How I'm doing it, and I'm gonna be putting it right there. Now I don't. Um, I didn't plan on a sentiment. I'm thinking that we could um, either add a sentiment somewhere here. I like it already that way. So I'm thinking that when I put this card together, I'm going to put um, Whisper White cardstock and then add the sentiment and sign it. So I won't be using sentiments on this one um, for that reason. Because I really want to showcase that beautiful three. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in like so so what do you think huh very easy and like I said um look at this it's really just that die and it has some dimensional from where we curl it you can see it here it's still there and uh, i don't know i just love how it looks so hopefully you like it too all right, so now the next card, let me just see which one I want to do. Because like I said, I had planned six for a class, but realistically, there's no way I'll be able to make um, six, another card class, realistically thinking. So um, we're just going to, oh, let's just do another one here. So a different one. And so all these cards are going to be super easy now that you know how to do that um that um um three because i had already made them so all of these are going to be super easy if you just join make sure you watch the beginning of this video so that you know how i did the whole puff paint um for this one but again the big thing here is just make sure you are oh you can see it here see how this one is not as raised as the other ones i think that i took the heat sooner than what it was supposed to. So just make sure that as you go, you see it kind of elevated, kind of like a popcorn. I really, I really think it's like a popcorn thing. Just go ahead and make it, make, uh, make sure it is, uh, you can see how it is racing. And then once you see there's nothing else racing, then take the heat away. Because on this one, I think I took it 
earlier and so you can see here right it's not as puffed <laughs> so anyway so for this one i have um a piece of sherry cobbler and this one is eight and a half by five and a half hello carol <laughs> all right we're gonna be folding it in half then i have a piece of the same design series paper rapid wrap it in plate and this one is five i'm sorry four by five and one quarter yes so we're gonna go ahead and glue it here we're gonna go ahead and like so all right then i have a piece of whisper white and this one is i believe it was two and three yeah two and three quarters by three and three quarters and it's going to go right there and then i have uh two little pieces of the wrap it in plate paper and these ones are a half of an inch by i believe it was three yeah by three and you have two of those and these are actually going to go on this side so the way I picture this card was under there right so I can bring back that sherry cobbler and then have my three here and I'm gonna put here the three and then the star right there and I'll put also the ribbon on the bottom so that's how I picture again I don't want to be adding sentiments on these cards because I want to put it on the inside um, but you could put a banner, I'm thinking, like, you could put a banner where you can put the sentiment. So, let's just glue everything. So, you can see these are very easy once you have those trees made. It goes really, really easy. So, we're going to go ahead and put them right in the center. Oop. And so, because I'm guessing at this point, um, you all are getting ready for Christmas, right? I mean, I cannot believe that we are soon to be in November. I mean, where this, did this year go? Seriously, it's crazy. It's crazy. Too many things have happened and I just cannot believe we are almost ending this year. Soon we're going to be in Christmas. Seriously. Crazy, right? So anyway, we're going to put it here. So that's why I decided let's just do some quick and easy Christmas cards. Um, so now for this one, where are the glue dots? Not the glue dots, the dimensionals. Here it is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put dimensionals. You're good, battery. Don't worry. There's always the replay, so no issue. The only thing is that um, I've already shown how to do the the three, and so you might want to watch the beginning of the video once it's done, once we're done, so that you can see how this one was done. Okay. And again, um, there is a die set that has now stars that you can easily uh, use for these. I decided to go with the punch. Um, so anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do again that um, a bow. Let me just do another bow. Okay, then I'm just pulling and pulling. Now for this ones, I want them to be kind of long. Usually I make them smaller, but because I want them to be, yes, kind of covering the tree, I want them a little bit longer than my typical bow. So, there we go. And then I glue that to put it down. And you can see again how easy this was, right? How 
how about that? So you have cart number one and then cart number two, and they just look fantastic, I think. Um, and like same as this one, I will just put a piece of Whisper White. Probably I will put it like three and three quarters by five, so a little bit smaller. And um, then add the sentiment and then just sign. I think that's pretty much it for those, right? Um, so now let's just do card number three. And again, let me just think which one I want to make. Um, okay. Let me just think about this because I don't even know what I was going to be doing. You know, sometimes you have an idea in your head and then... And then all things happen. All right, so we're gonna do another one very similar to this. Um, but now using the blue, because I just love that one. And so, yeah, I think this one will look really nice if I put him like that, yes, and then the bow. Yes, so this is gonna be very similar. All of them are really simple. Once you do the three, it's all simple. <laughs> so anyway, so this one is uh, Night of Navy. And um, and it is eight and a half by five and a half. So same as with the other ones. We're just going to be folding it in half. And then use your bone folder. Then I have here a piece of um, cherry cobbler. Now, I have already die cut from here the escalope oval out of the layering, uh, layering ovals. And I have also die cut the largest of the uh, stitches, framelits, the largest of the oval. So this will go like so. Now, I always do that, especially if I am going to be putting uh, cardstock on top or the design series paper, because no one will ever know. And really, the only thing that you need out of the this paper is that border. So technically, um, you can you can use your cardstock that way and save some of it, right? Because no one is going to notice. No one will ever know there is a hole there. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and Fold these, I'm sorry, um, glue these. I'm glad you're liking it, um, Valerie. <laughs> Hello, Susan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. I just like using as much as I can from the... from the design, from the paper, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be using glue dots for this section. Oh, I'm probably more towards the... Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and this open like so okay and I don't think I'm I said measurements right let me just go back to that so the measurements are this one so um, the design series paper is three and a half by four and three quarters yeah four and three quarters and then the sherry cobbler is three and three quarters by five is that right three and three quarters yeah three and three quarters yes okay and then these two will go like so right and so we're gonna go ahead and glue those two together and i'm gonna go ahead and also pop this one Alright. 
I can hear Oliver laughing all the way here. <laughs> it just makes me laugh all the time. Love his laughs. All right, so here we go. And then, of course, we have another of those trees here. And um, again, if you just join and don't know how to make these, uh, make sure you watch the beginning of the at the beginning of the video so that you know how I made them. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three, two of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one off. And then glue this one on top. Oh, I have not put this one just yet. So let's just add this one as well with dimensionals. Yeah, this paper is really gorgeous, um, Carol. I just love it. And I love that it has that gold foil. Um, I don't know the pictures on the catalog really make uh, make it justice, to be honest, because it's just gorgeous. And so I agree with you. Um, a second pack would not be a bad idea. There we go. And so, of course, I'm going to be adding another of those bows here. Just because I love how it looks. I like that gold accent. <laughs> Hello, Joanne. Don't worry if you miss me. I know this is not my typical day, so um, usually I go live on a Thursday, but again, with Halloween tomorrow, and for the first time, Oliver is aware of what Halloween is. I guess at school they're teaching him what it is. And so he is really looking forward to uh, going out and do the trick-or-treating. Although, when I came home today, my husband was like, it's going to be super cold. I don't know if we're really going to go out tomorrow. So we'll see. But um, I feel like, you know, even if it is too cold, then we just put some jackets and let's go out. Because Oliver, like I said, this is the first time that he is aware of, of a holiday. <laughs> so anyway... So here it is. You can see very similar cards, very easy. And um they all use that gorgeous uh in the woods uh yes, what is this called? In the woods framelits dies, which is this one. And I've used these two um dies. I think that these are very simple. You saw me, I just cut them through, then at the at the puff paint and pretty much everything else was done, right? I mean, there's no, there's no, um, it's not so complicated and you can have gorgeous cars. I, that's what I think. I think it's gorgeous cars for Christmas, right? And like I said, for all of them, I didn't want to add sentiments again because I feel like I just want to feature the tree by itself and then have something inside. I think that that's really my goal for these cards. So anyway, hope you have enjoyed it. Again, don't forget about um, the class. So today is the last day to sign up for the Come Together card class to go. It's on the description of this video, more information about it. And also, um, if you want to get information about the upcoming Christmas classes, it's going to be um, through my email. So make sure you are also linked to those. And there's going to be only two card classes because like I said, there's no way I can do a third class there well maybe who knows but anyway so um thank you thank you thank you so much yeah you're right uh susan these this paper is actually awesome for a masculine class maybe i should do something like that right maybe i should do some like masculine cards i know i don't know i'll have to check maybe next week or two weeks from here um i'll do some masculine cards using this paper i think that's a great idea i love that this paper it definitely looks masculine hmm all righty well thank you so much and um if you don't have any more questions i'll see you next week <laughs> thank you kay i'm really uh enjoying that you like all the cards and um 
And what else? So anyway, so I'll see you next Thursday, okay? And again, I apologize that I, the last two weeks I've been changing my schedule. I definitely want to have the Facebook Live um, during the week. And I'd rather move it earlier rather than just canceling. So again, thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs> oh, and happy Halloween. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye.